I don't know. I try to put a Thanksgiving spin on it. But much to Rank's point about dropping Naheem Hines, I say go out and pick up James Cook. And today I tweeted that I, I was happy to have him on more rosters than I went to bed with. And people were like, why would you want this guy? Well, he played the most snaps last week since week two. He had 11 carries. And what I like is he had the same number of targets last week as Devin Singletary. But he is the far more explosive running back of the two. This guy's got a lot of juice there. Uh, and if he continues to show that explosiveness, I think he can carve out a larger role as the season progresses. Well, you know, actually one year I decided to invite Steve over to my house for Thanksgiving. So I was trying to be really nice. And I was like, hey, you know, can you bring a dessert or something like that? He showed up with jello with fruit in it. Mm. Come on, man. Who does that? Who Wait, no. Wait, do you really? I was gonna say, if there was one person on this set, I was. I don't. Say. I do not like Jello, and I'm not a big fruit guy. All right, well, see, there you go. See, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Jello with fruit in it showed up at my house. That was unpleasant. What is pleasant is Paris Campbell. He's been very good the last few weeks, especially. With, come back, Rank. You gotta I'm come out. back. You're up next. Too much. At least 18 <laughs> fantasy points in three of the last four games with Matt Ryan at quarterback. He's playing 70 percent of his right, snaps I'm... from the slots. So that means even if T.J. Watt is able to get after Matt. Ryan a little bit. They can still get it out to him quickly. Steelers giving up the most fantasy <laughs> points for game to wide receivers. You probably didn't hear any of that. Just hear that you should probably pick up and maybe start Paris Campbell. Paris Campbell. Okay. <laughs> Paris Campbell. I got a, I got a few words to say about Steve. Uh, first of all, uh, I, during the rehearsal that we do here, and we do rehearsals, uh, I'm very guarded about my punchlines and stuff because I don't want them stolen. <laughs> Steve popped his head into the studio today. Stole my punchline about country ham. <laughs> and my friend Greg Fleet down in Australia, who loves to tweet me every day about country ham with red-eye gravy, is now deprived of that joke, which was a banger <laughs> to start off the show. We don't get it. Stealing punchlines is something that Jonesy does. That's Jonesy's job. <laughs> Stage manager and stealing my punchline. So not only are you hurting my feelings, you're taking... Jonesy's joy away. I know that we've been together. Yes, I'm sorry. We've been. You're like my Paul Schaefer, and yet we're sitting here. What was I saying? What do we do? What's this segment? We're picking up. Sorry. You're not even on camera. At least get on camera to do that. <laughs> How long have you been on this show? 13 years. Then you should know the blocking. I know it's a new studio. Taysom Hill, though. I'm picking him up. You know why? You know why I'm doing it, Patrick? I've been starting Kyle Pitts. Okay. I'm used to getting zeros. <laughs> this would be an upgrade. At least there's a possibility that he'll go out there and score 30 points. You did not have that possibility with Kyle Pitts, who I was starting every week. The F block's going to be like 45 seconds I don't long. care. You know what? Let, let me tell you something. I Listen, the kids have been off school all week. I could have been at home today. No, I'm here to deliver a, a joke about country ham <laughs> and red-eye gravy. And Steve ruined that for me. And it's unforgivable. Okay, I would tell you about Kyron Williams, but fun fact, we're out of time. Oh, come on. <laughs> we're going to keep going here. Uh, thanks for watching uh, the Waiver Wire Leftovers.